Hi Cancer, this is a general love reading for mid-November to the end of November 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it might not resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs or watch one of your person signs. Okay, and don't forget the roles can be reversed either way. Alright, let's see. What is going on with Cancer? We have the fledgling. Okay, so it looks like somebody's ready to take a leap. Somebody's ready to do something new. Um, just, you know, go out and fly. Let's see what this is about. I remember your reading um, for the beginning of November was pretty positive, I think. can't remember what it was about, but I do remember it being positive. So let's see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm doing the spread a little bit differently. It is a variation of the Celtic cross to accommodate for two people. So let's see. For the situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by Justice. In the recent past, the Two of Swords, near future, the Queen of Cups. For your energy, the Ace of Wands. For them, the Five of Pentacles. More about you. The King of Wands, or just deeper as to what's going on. Um, for them, the Queen of Swords. Potential outcome is the Knight of Wands, and the guidance here is the Devil. All right. So, this is all about somebody taking action towards making a decision. Um, a lot of action and a lot of <laughs> decision is required. And I feel like that might actually be the, um, the challenge here or somebody is just taking some action that it may or may not be in the best of energies here. But we will see. We will see. That is the whole point in this situation. Um, there's definitely been a lot of indecision in the past. Or something that you or they were thinking about. Um, not really taking much action. So I really feel like what the issue is here is all about somebody needing to take some kind of action towards the right direction. Um, which is something they have not been doing in the past. Um, for you, we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like you... You really want this to work out. You have a lot of hope here um, for this. Your person is feeling alone. Or they're feeling at a loss. Almost like, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, it could be a little bit of victim mentality here. Um, I do see them gaining some clarity though underneath it all with the Queen of Swords. And I see you being able to kind of like stand strong um, throughout this, but also I, I'm getting with this King of Wands here, you also being very confident and assertive within your own self. Um, kind of like, yeah, you know, you, you do hope for this, you do want this, but at the same time, you, and you do feel like, you know, that this is something that could work, but I'm almost getting that you you want to overcome your own challenges, you know, just as much, which might be, you know, um, I don't know. Let me not speak too soon. I do see something um, something coming up in the near future that is going to be, you know, surrounded by love with the Queen of Cups. Um, possibly a lot of um, intuition here, or just. The both of you showing love to each other. 
there's definitely, I, there's some movement though in the potential outcome. So I feel like whatever action this is that needs to be taken, I feel like that is here, actually. I feel like things are moving in that direction. And then for the guidance, we are gonna clarify to see what that devil is. Um, it could be, you know, somebody still kind of affecting the situation in a negative way. Or needing to detach from something. Let's see. Alright, so let's clarify this. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands with the Justice. Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. Oh. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that your person here is dealing with two different people. Um, or two different situations, or, you know, a situation and you, and that could be what they need to make a decision about. Because I'm also getting that this is about them. Um, if it's not that, if there is no third party, and the third party, again, it doesn't have to be a person, although it definitely could be with the two queens being here. Um, you know, this could be another relationship here, and then the queen of cups would be you. And then for others of you, this could be, you know, your person really trying to take some action when it comes to um, a situation that involves, that feels more practical, it feels more financially secure maybe, or it just makes more sense in the 3D versus um, what they truly want with their hearts. Kind of like torn between the 3D and the 5D, or torn between um, the material, what's practical, and love. So I feel like that is what this action is about. Or the action that needs to be taken, or the decision that needs to be made. And again, don't forget the roles can be reversed, this could be you, but I'm just mostly getting that it's them. See that two of swords in the recent past. What is going on here? Cards are wanting to come out and then not wanting to come out. <laughs> that does reflect the two of swords, now doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of feel like that wanted to come out. All right. And we're getting like all the queens. The Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, again, so somebody was um, not making a decision here. Somebody was being a little bit passive or just procrastinating when it came to choosing love over whatever else. Um, and I feel like, you know, they were just stuck in this energy of really not doing anything, like very, very passive. Wanting, wanting you feeling that drive towards you, feeling that love, like the love was there. But because of something else here being in the way, there was a sense of discontentment. I feel like even the fact that there was no decision being made and that there wasn't um, any change or any action that the person this person was just sitting there in that energy this brought a lot of unhappiness both to them as well as to you to the connection overall let's see your energy the ace of wands The devil, justice, and the 
page of cups. Okay, so it could be that you, yeah, so you have a lot of hope for this. And it might be that your energy to this person, okay, at least, may have been coming off a little bit too strongly for them. Or it is at the moment. I'm kind of getting here that, you know, you, you want this decision to be made so badly, right, with a lot of passion, and there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, um, until it gets to the point of it just being unhealthy for you. And it might come off in your energy. Um, if you're in contact with this person, it might come off, you know, in your expression or in the way that you that you express your feelings to them. Um, yeah. And I mean, you could be the one that that's right. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, this. It feels like it's your person who hasn't been making a decision. But just because you're right, it doesn't always mean that, you know, um, that, it, you know, just Im imposing your wants is going to really help. Maybe it is that you were just, you know, you're just trying to help this person. And, you know, that's, that's good. But sometimes we just have to be a little bit careful because the other person, you know, they might not take our help. They might not... Be willing to accept it or maybe they just can't accept it at at that point in time so I feel like something like that might be going on I don't feel like this is for some of you this isn't gonna be like a huge thing um, that's going on it might just be you know like one little issue for example I don't know or just a disagreement about something you know that that's between something in the material and something um, that would be more fulfilling Let's see if I have pentacles for your person. Page of pentacles. Strength and the two of pentacles. So yeah, there they are, trying to make a decision, trying to balance things out, trying to, you know, weigh out their options. Um, I'm almost getting that they feel like you, like you might not be understanding um, their, their perspective or their side of things. Kind of like, you know, you're, I feel like maybe you're trying to help them, but they feel like, like you just can't know what it is that, that they are going through. Um, I don't necessarily want to say a lack of compassion because I don't think that you're not showing compassion, but almost like you just don't, they feel like you, you're not understanding their position. And they may be right about this, they may be wrong about this. This is just how, how they're currently feeling. And so they're kind of feeling alone um, in that sense, or just kind of like at a loss, almost like, you know, maybe they're, all, they're losing you as well as, I don't know, as well as whatever else is going on here. Let's see. Let's get some more insight into, into this. Let's see what's really going on with you here as this King of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so again, you really want this. You really want this to the point where it is um, causing you a lot of stress. I feel like you are, you are handling it though. 
I, you know, I mean, you might have been a little bit in this in this energy here that I was talking about before with the devil, um, but but I feel like you're beginning to really get a grasp over the situation, even though I, again I'm seeing this energy of being torn between something material and love. So maybe this is also true for you. Maybe it's for the two of you together, like mutually for something else. Um, could be involving someone else, could be involving someone else's health, for example, um, someone else's security, someone else's well-being, like it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, selfish. But something here, and I feel like you you are still a little bit stressed about it. And again, I'm kind of getting, you know, a little bit of that, that maybe trying to... Tr you're trying to work on, on releasing the control because I feel like you might be having a little bit of a um, really wanting to control the situation. But I feel like it's really, it's something that is in their hands and not yours kind of a thing. Let's see the Queen of Swords for their energy. Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so they're getting more clarity when it comes to how exhausting all of this situation is that they um, that they have been enduring. I feel like it's been going on for a while now, and they're wanting, they're having, because they're having clarity, they're wanting to take action towards their heart, towards what it is that fulfills them emotionally, rather than practically so they are moving in that direction apparently and i'm also getting that even with that knight of wands they're in this queen of cups so let's actually clarify these and see let's see the queen of cups the ten of swords death and the sun So yeah, there's, uh, what I feel is coming up is, it just feels like love is, is, um, <laughs> is winning, basically. Love is winning here. Um, something definitely does need to change. Something definitely does need to end. I don't feel like it's going to be easy, but some, I mean, it's going to be either the, the material or the, or the love. You know, and I do see that there is, again, I'm getting clarity with the sun here. Um, somebody seeing the truth of wanting to listen to their hearts. Because, I mean, it's got to be one or the other. It's either going to be the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Cups. It's going to be the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it has to be either the Pentacles or the, or the Cups. And I do see that it's, the cups are winning, basically. Love is winning. So, yeah. And that's what I feel like, I'm not going to clarify this Knight of Wands because it's just very clear that there is movement towards that. Um, so, I really want to see this devil, though, for the guidance. Two of Swords, the Star, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you know, this is this guidance is obviously for you, um, the viewer. Because we, we also had the Devil for your energy over here. So this is all about releasing that control. It's kind of like... Um, you know, whoever it is that's in this Two of Swords energy and that indecision, which is your person, you know, 
allow that to heal. Allow that to heal. This is telling you, you know, to, to be a little bit more passive when it comes to, you know, the situation, which is involving something else. Um, and I feel like that is really going to help this reconciliation. Or it's going to help to bring things to, you know, um, a happier state, a more, you know, celebrating type of an energy. Allow the healing to happen. And, you know, it's also about healing your own self, heal you healing that, that attachment to wanting things to be right, to wanting, you know, the other person to make the right decision, to the decision that someone else has to make. I mean, I do see them moving in the in in the right direction here. Even with the fledgling, that's all about somebody, you know, um, taking a jump, taking a risk. It's kind of like the fool. Okay, so let's see. Final message for Cancer. If this was resonating, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if if it did resonate for you. We have navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So yeah, you know, what I'm getting here is that this is your person following their bliss. Like I said, love is winning. They're following their intuition. They're following their hearts. They're following their bliss. Okay, just, just let them do it. Let them do it on their own is the message here. All right, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.